to see you and to have this opportunity to dive into practice together. Yeah, charge us up for the coming week. <laughs> it's, um, it's, been, it's been the hardest week of my life this past week. It could be true. It could be true. <laughs> and it's for a very weird reason is that when we came home from our Devekut retreat, which Lena was there and, and Steve, and Steve hey, buddy. was there. Jenny. And, and Jenny was there. Uh, I came home and it was in a very beautiful, deep place. And uh, we were blissful. And for then, a brief for period. a brief period of time, and then we found out that chipmunks had, had invaded our house. It was like they like moved in while we they were moved gone. in while we were gone. Chipmunks. Like half like, a dozen, six, what five, are they six, called? seven. More, more. It was like hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we spent the whole week. Uh, in the, orde it, the ordeal, and it did drive us downstairs. We yeah, just let like him have the upstairs after a while. It's like, oh yeah. my gosh! So, but it was like a, it was like really a test of my nervous system, <laughs> and my nervous system. I failed that test, <laughs> but I'm, but I'm coming back. Yes. It was just very hard. It was very hard because you um, reached out for help when when you were overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. That's just and, right. You know, and there's this yeah. instinctual thing Rodents. that girls do when they <laughs> see a rodent, they scream, you know, <laughs> how many times can you scream? <laughs> a lot. So I'm, I am, I am dedicating this practice to liberation. the, 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 the we're liberation, free. Liberation. we're free at last from most uh, of mine. to working with our nervous systems, you know, to really go to that, that deep calm place oh, yes. where chipmunks can't find us <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, but this is you know life. this is part of life Walking you know yeah. and uh, uh, it was um, it was very hard but Rachmiel was my was my rock here helping me through it just barely <laughs> <laughs> just one step um, short of being paralyzed no so, but it really, it really was a week, and today uh, is the first day we, we reclaimed our house <laughs> and uh, got it ready for spiritual practice and for being with you. We've smudged and incensed and yes, yes. chanted, and now we're ready. Now we're ready. Ready for our ready. So thank you so much. So this, um, this Song of Songs is bringing us to this place um, where the, the lover is still in this kind of like over the top praise of the beloved which is which is us and he says <laughs> yes. after he put on his glasses he says your stature seemed tall as a palm tree and your breasts the clusters of its fruit I said let me climb into that palm tree and take hold of its branches May your breasts be like clusters of grapes on a vine, the fragrance of your breath like apples, and your mouth like the best wine. Let it, oh, that's you. Oh, let it flow smoothly to my beloved, gliding between sleepy lips. I am my beloved's, and his longing is for me. Only for me. Yes. So the... The beloved's longing for me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that that beloved, that 
you know, that beloved, which is reality, the universe, the great mystery, longs for me um, to, um, to grow into who I am meant to be. So it longs for my truth and not my artifice. That beloved longs for the, you know, the, 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 the me that I haven't even discovered yet. And that force of longing, I'm, I'm calling it the evolutionary force because it's working on all of us to call us into, uh, to fulfill our potential. And so that de desire calls us forth. And it also opens up the place of our own desire as well. Um, but I want to tune in to that, to that force that is moving me and moving the whole, you know, the whole world um, into a place of wholeness, fullness, and connection with, with all of life. That's what it feels like to me. And so, when I, uh, when we chant these words, Anila Dodi Vedodi Li, it means we be we belong to each other, and we can say that to each other. We can say that to reality can say that to the world we belong to each other we we you know and uh and and uh, and this 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 desire this uh that god has for me is calling me forth into who i was i was meant to be and so i want to attune to it i want to receive it i want to respond to it so that i can um you know, open, open up to those possibilities. And when mm. my nervous system calms down, I can do that. <laughs> yes. And doing it helps yes, calm yes, down yes, the nervous yes. system. So let us make our kind of a, a pledge to that beloved, opening to that evolutionary force that is calling us into our potential.
to feel that force, that pull of you, who you are becoming. And, and what I got from this uh, practice is also this unconditional acceptance of wherever you are. Hmm. You know, that you are, wherever you are, you're on the path. And sometimes along the way, you, you need to fall apart. Yep. <laughs> it's required sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and there's no shame. Mm -hmm. and, uh, wherever you are, God is saying, you know, um, I love you, I accept you, I call you into your, your, uh, your wholeness. Mm -hmm. And to feel to feel yourself both accepted and called. So um, the um, you know the there's all these the lessons of love that are always uh, they're always happening. You know uh, when I'm paying attention, and you know part of the lesson this past week for me um, had to do with all. You know, with falling apart, and um, <laughs> and, and feeling that, like, first of feeling the shame of that, of like, no, I was, I was supposed to be in Dvekut, you know, I just, um, you know, I was supposed to have it together, I was supposed to know what to do, and you know, all these things, and uh, and instead, you know, the, that kind of like fall, that that kind of falling apart, and. Um, and it actually, in our relationship, it was, it was a gift. It was because Rachmiel well, had never seen me fall apart. Mm -hmm. I've always mm -hmm. held it together. So yeah. he never saw me fall apart. And, um, and, um, and I said, it was about time. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, and he said, I love you more. Which was great. It was really mm. uh, wonderful, you know. And I think, you know, that Hosea's lesson was like, mm. you know, if that if uh, if I could love Gomer with such love, you know, how much more does God love us? No matter where we are, no matter how much we're falling apart or failing, mm. you know, the, the you know that God is saying, and my desire is for you, the real you, not the one you pretend to be. So, it's, there, there are 
there are there are gifts everywhere and uh, as we receive that evolutionary force that is calling us there is also a force inside that is unlocked which is the force of our of our own longing for wholeness for, for connection uh, mm. for depth and um, so I wanted to do this practice called the Holy Longing, which comes from Psalm 63, and it says, my, my soul thirsts for you, just as you thirst for me, I thirst for you. <laughs> and and my, my flesh, it's really, it's in me, it's so deep in my embodied uh, being that my, my flesh is, um, is, is longing to be connected to the world, to not be caught in the illusion of separation. Um, so, um, so I wanted to, I wanted to do this this practice and to get these words in us and to feel that longing in our body and feel the the holiness of desire in us that 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 desire that is actually moving us in our lives. My soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you, some my soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you, Longs for you, come ah, come ah, my soul thirst for you, my flesh longs for you, come ah, my soul thirst for you, come ah, my flesh longs for you. 
So when it comes to longing, there are all of these interesting paradoxes. Is it paradoxi? Is it paradoxes? <laughs> paradoxes. There's only interesting paradoxes because, um, and uh, the Hasidic masters had really noticed that, oh, you know, there's this desire, but God is in the desire. God is in the longing, you know. It's and and I I could feel that after 
chanting it for a while, like, oh, that force, that, that evolutionary force that, that is moving me, it is in my desire itself. And so it's, you know, I begin with a desire for something, and then that something is actually in the, you know, comes into the desire itself. And that's, you know, that's kind of the, the paradox. And um, there, there's, there's another really great paradox that I discovered um, out from, um, from studying Psalm 42, verse 2, um, which is, um, which is about, uh, this gives us this image of a deer and, um, and the deer by the water that is, the deer longs for water and the, do the water is like there, she, she's at the river bank and she's longing for water. And it's a beautiful image, so, you know, touching me with its like poignancy in a sense of this beautiful deer longing for water by the river bank. But then that one day I said to that deer, I said, hey, <coughs> Dear, what's the story here? You're longing for something that's right in front of you. <laughs> You're longing for something you already have. And then I saw the next line of the psalm. Ah, this is how my soul longs for you, O oh God. I am longing for you, God, and you're already in me. You're already in me. You're already there in me, and I'm longing. I'm longing for what I already have. And there's something, there's something paradoxical about it. Mm. Something poignant about it. Something true about it. You know that that what we long for, um, we have. And sometimes we look in the wrong places for that. You know that the longing gets misplaced. We don't realize that it is. You know that it's that it's right there. That that water that we're thirsting for is right there and um, and maybe it's because we're stuck in our sympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. you can't you can't, can't, turn that you, can't <laughs> you, you can't see what's right there when you're when when you're in that when you're in that state so you, the state that you're in allows you to access the 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 those depths, those places of, of God's presence within us, and um, and be and be nourished, you know. And I really felt that on our Devekut uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> retreat, I felt I felt nourished by going into that stillness. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, very nourishing. Yeah. So I want to um, I want to be able to. Um, Close your eyes and see that that image of the deer. And uh, just a couple days ago, there's a, a, a young deer and her and her baby fawn, fawn was, came and they wanted they were looking in my window. Hmm. And, um, and I I just you know just to feel their to feel that kind of grace and wildness. And um, and longing, and to be able to to see that image, and, um, and to feel that we are that deer by the riverbank who is uh, who is longing to be nourished, to be connected, to be made whole, um, and that's how my soul longs for you, God. You you are. You are already, you are already here in me, between us. You're already here. So that's the, you know, the, that's the sort of the nature of the longing. So, oh, it's interesting, you know that word, the word be longing. Be longing. Mm, cool, I Ooh, like that. There's a little drash there. Yeah. There's drash happening as we speak. <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> so when you can inhabit that longing, you know, 
it actually mm. connects you. And I just, just remembered of this teaching from Sharon Salzberg. He says, it is, aware, the, it is awareness of both our shared pain and our longing for happiness that links us to other people and helps us to turn toward them with compassion. So it helps us, say, she's saying, it helps us to belong. <laughs> to, when we are in that place of longing, um, then we can uh, we connect with the longing. It's like the, the communal longing. And, uh, mm-hmm. and, that's, and then that's part of how our longing is fulfilled through that connection, through that belonging. So, um, so here we are by the riverbank. Just, Just as the deer longs for water by the riverbank, so does my soul long for you, oh God. Just as the deer longs for water by Can't 
Just as the deer longs for water By the riverbank So does my soul long for you, oh God Just as the deer longs for By the river dank, so does my soul long for you, oh God. Longs for water by the river bank. So does my soul long for you. Close your eyes, bring your attention to the breath and breathe into that longing. And I want to just bring a, a question into our hearts of just says, what is, what is my deepest longing? Just want to allow the answer to just to rise from your heart. And if you get a get a word or a phrase just um, put it in the chat so we can share that what is your deepest longing Companionship, flow, deeper intimacy with the sacred in all life, yearning for connection with all that is. To be and spread light. Longing for peace. Oh, Amen. Feeling of rightness. Mm, surrender. To be the be long. Mm -hmm. Longing. Mm -hmm. Asking the great spirit's glory and radiant light in the darkness. Love. I think um, we can connect in that longing, but I think to bring the possibility that what we're longing for is is right here mm -hmm. you know and uh, doesn't mean we don't keep longing for it connection and everyone and everyone through the oneness with everyone through the oneness so this idea that like oh it's you know this this uh, paradox that what we long for is here is here with us now um, 
So I wanted to do one more pr practice, you know, because I, I felt like this, um, this s sort of sin a reciprocity of longing, God mm -hmm. longing for me, me longing for God, and um, and I felt like these this words from Psalm 118 kind of represented this kind of movement between us, um, and it's. It says, "Min uh, hametsa karatiya," which is, you know, from this narrow place. When sometimes that place of longing mm -hmm. feels very constricted, very narrow. From that place, I called to God, who answered me, who answers me, with the divine expanse, you know, with um, the answer being like calling me into that that vastness that wholeness that i am so um so when i when i chant these words i want to feel that that flow you know who was it marcianne said flow i want to feel that flow between the all and the one the one uh, mm -hmm. and uh and between the one and this you know like this place of longing in me that cries out in the cry itself there is a there is a response i am being opened to the you know to the to the vastness to the wide expanse um, i uh, i always i just think about this um, that it's already there in me um, when i think is that open to it or? well when i think about um, I think I told you this story that one time I had this thought, um, which I had had many times. I thought to myself, "Oh, I think, I think maybe I should lose ten pounds. It would be good to lose ten pounds." And um, I'm never going to lose ten pounds, but it was like this thought, the recurring thought, happened to me. And in that very moment, this face appeared in front of me, and it was, it was Neem Karoli Baba, who was, who was. Ram Dass's guru appeared in front of me and he looked at me and he said, don't you know who you are? <laughs> and, and it kind of, and I never had that thought again. He kind of broke the, <laughs> broke the spell, you know, and don't you know who you are? And, um, and I always want to look at everyone here and say, don't you know who you are? Hmm. It's like your, your, your soul is so vast. You are, you know, you encompass universes, you know. And um, so it's, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the merhavya, hmm. the divine expanse, the divine expanse that is, that, that is truly our home, our, I, you know, our largest identity. Um, and yet we are, we are crying out from our, our narrow place. Hmm. So this will be our, our practice. Hmm. So to both cry out and also receive. Hmm.
divine expanse and being being called there being called into your fullness your wholeness your vastness and from there we can have compassion on that narrow place inside but sort of have a place where we we, we know who we who we truly are, and um, yeah. So uh, when I just imprint that, remember mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, stop here. <laughs> 